Hi guys, Brit Tech here. And um, just something that I like to do with shoes or clothes that I'm not wearing, um, I like to sell them on Poshmark. Uh, sometimes I'll even go out to like Plato's Closet or the thrift store or the Goodwill and I'll try and find, you know, like new or great condition sneakers that are, you know, in the market. Um, preferably Jordans, Nikes, Adidas, you know, the things that are in right now. And I'll uh, clean the shoes up and I resell them for either the same price or a little bit more trying to make a profit. So uh, I guess I guess I'll start with my Poshmark. Um, for those of you who don't know, Poshmark is a way for you to make money back. It's a, a website that allows you to sell um, old clothing, shoes, uh, jewelry, uh, different things that you own and make a profit. So um, I already created an account. And for any of you interested, my username is Brittner90 on Poshmark. So if you check it out and like anything that you see go ahead and purchase something but as you can see I have quite a few uh, items listed mostly shoes but I have some clothes up here as well and um, what I like to do is I just like to take stuff that I'm no longer wearing and uh, put it up here for sale um, a great example of that would be these Nike Prestos that I put up here two weeks ago I actually bought these shoes brand new for $59 and I was able to sell them on Poshmark. I wore them once and I was able to uh, sell them on Poshmark for 80 bucks. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I have quite a few listings up here. Some sold, some not sold. And um, sometimes I'll go out on a nice Saturday, go to Plato's Closet, see if they have anything there for me to resell. And um, like I said, the Goodwill and thrift stores are good as well. But, um, I believe Poshmark is a great platform for you to resell um, newer use um, clothing items or shoes that you no longer wear. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit about my Poshmark account, Britner90, check me out. And also, so today is the day that I like to call my Poshmark buying day. And what that entails is it's pretty much the day that I decide to go out in the week to purchase things that I want to display on Poshmark and I want to sell on Poshmark. So my process usually is I just go to a store, most of the times it's Plato's Closet, and I see if I can uh, sell some of the items that I have on Poshmark that have been on there for like a hundred or more days that aren't really selling. And then I try and buy some of their things that I think would be a great sale and a great, uh, I guess, um, profit on Poshmark. So I go to So look at these. Katie's, 40 bucks. Um, also, I was going to turn my stuff in to sell it, but it's actually close to closing time, so they stopped receiving bags. So I'll probably come back another day and try to sell that stuff, but right now we're just going to focus on buying. So let's see what we can get. These are Kevin Durant. Really good condition. These are Rachi's. Whoa, 50 bucks. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to see what I can turn around, like I can flip. I need something that they're selling for cheap and then I can turn around and make a profit off of. So look at the Jordans, the Nikes, stuff that's in right now. So Okay guys, so we just got out of Plato's closet <coughs> and I wanna show you guys what I got. So come on over. Got these brand new rose gold vans for about 30 bucks i plan to well they're brand new so i don't have to clean them up or anything but i plan to resell them on poshmark for i'll probably start off at like 55 see where that gets me and then got another pair of adidas and these are a little dirty you can see they're worn so i'm going to clean these up got them for 25 bucks and i'm going to try and sell them for 60. so uh, I guess the next step is post them on the Poshmark website. So I'm about to take the pictures 
of these shoes, the brand new ones that I got earlier, and I'm gonna post them on Poshmark. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean these ones right here that I showed you were dirty. I got a bucket of warm water, some soap suds, and a towel to dry and some scrub brushes. I'm gonna clean these ones, and then I'm gonna take pictures of these ones as well, and then post it to Poshmark. And I'll show you guys how I do that. Ryan Little. <laughs> I just finished washing these and as you can see they look amazing brand new and I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures and then I'll post it on the website all right so finally got them uploaded and they're right here rose gold vans black adidas and uh, let's see Rose gold women van size eight and a half. I listed them for $55. And um, I got multiple pictures, let's see. And the good thing I like about Poshmark is they include the shipping for you so you don't have to calculate all that stuff like on eBay. It automatically does it. Once the shoes sell, you uh, it sends you a shipping label, you download it, Add it to your box, and you just walk it into the post office, and it's easy peasy. So you guys can see that these ones listed for $55. My account is Britner90. You want to go check it out on Poshmark.com. And here is the Adidas listing. As you can see, you got the pictures. And I listed these ones for $65. I didn't realize they were going to look so good when I finished cleaning them, so I actually uh, raised the price. I think I said I was going to do 50 and I put 65 So, um, But on Poshmark, people are able to bargain, so if someone sends me an offer for $50, i will probably accept it. So guess what, guys? It's been a couple days, and uh, some of my shoes sold. So, uh, check this out. The Adidas that I bought from Plato's Closet, they just sold for $45. I, I think I initially put them for like 50 something, but I received the offer for 45 and I took it. So pretty much how it works with Poshmark is once you sell something, they'll send you a confirmation email and it'll have the shipping label in it to download. So I'll download it, I'll package it, and then I'll go and take it into USPS and you don't even have to wait on the line to just give it to them because everything is already done. So um, yeah, let's see, my profit. So um, I sold the shoes for 45 and I don't know if you remember, but I bought them for $25 and um, Poshmark took $9. So my total earnings was $36 and then you take away what I paid for it. That's $11 profit guys. So that's not bad at all. That's really good. And then I'm going to show you guys some more of my um some more of my sales. I actually bought these Nike Prestos. They were in like they were brand new. I bought them for $59 on sale at Hibbit Sports. Um it's a local um shoe place that we have out here on the East Coast and um I bought them for $59 and I only wore them once so they were still brand new. The shoes retail initially at $100. So I figured, hey, let me try and, you know, make a big profit. I sold them for $80. Poshmark took $16. And my total earnings were $64. And what, $64, take away what I pay, $59. That's about $6, guys. So that's not bad. You know, we all have our own processes of how we want to, you know, make extra money. But I think Poshmark is a very good way of making extra money, even if you're only just selling your used or new things you don't even have to go out to the store and buy stuff to resell but even if you want to sell your old items or stuff that you don't wear anymore i think it's a great avenue to do so you know we also have ebay and let go craigslist and offer up but um i find that my best uh selling techniques 
are on Poshmark. Um, people just respond so quick and they just, I don't know, I get the best offers on here. So this is my go-to method. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my channel on YouTube, Brit Tech. And also um, check out my Poshmark, Britner90. Have a good day, guys, and good luck in your endeavors.